Hey there, it's Shiggy here, and welcome to another Isocraft episode. It is episode 23, and as you can see, I've got my diamond armor on. So last episode, I died, and I almost rage quit the server for good, but I decided to come back. As a force ghost, my spirit lives on in the Isocraft realm, and I can basically transcend realms whenever I want. Yeah, I, I can, you know, disappear and come back and teleport. That is one of the perks of being a, a spirit, a ghost. So, you might be wondering what we're going to be doing in today's episode. Well, I'm going to be enchanting lots of stuff. As you can see, I've been getting lots of levels. I've got 50. So yeah, as I was saying, I've been enchanting lots of stuff and basically trying to recover from my death last episode. Um, but we're going to actually work on a new project today, and that is building a farm. So we made our gold farm in episode 21, and we've got the Barching farm, we've got Goldtopia, and we want to sell all the good stuff like the leather, the gravel, the gold, and we need a shop to sell all of that. And I'm thinking of building a shop somewhere in the shopping district, Maybe over here, there's a little space there, or somewhere, somewhere there, and we can build a lovely shop to sell all the gold. But before we do that, before we can sell any gold, we need to speak to Rex, because Rex owns everything now, after I died. Uh, I did give all the stuff to him. I need his permission now to do anything, because he owns all the stuff. What was all my stuff is now is now owned by Rex. So I just need to, you know, speak to Rex and ask if I could make profit and make diamonds from the gold farm because I don't want to get caught up in some lawsuit where Rex is suing me for making money out of something that I shouldn't be making money from. So we just need to find Rex. I, I'm pretty sure I put Rex somewhere here. Rex, where are you? I need you to... To con I need you to help me here, because I want to make diamonds, and I need to make sure that this is totally legal. Okay, something's wrong. Where is Rex? Okay, how am I going to make my gold shop if I can't even get Rex's permission to use the gold that he owns? Okay, Echo, you've got a good nose. You can sniff him out, can't you? So I've give given you some food. Stand up. Right. Where's Rex? Could you sniff him out? You're too lazy. You're, you know, you're a disgrace. You're supposed to go out and help find your friend, and you just want to lie down there? Fine. You won't be getting any more pork chops. How about you, Heavy? Could, could you find Rex or me? Come on, use your nose of yours. Yes, go on, lead the way. You can't pick up a scent. There's no, there's no trail. At all. You look. You can't find one. I can see you looking around. Oh no. There's nothing. You can't. No trail at all. Do you think the wind might have blown blown the scent away? I wonder how long he's been gone for. Maybe if he was gone for a long time, he would have. The, the scent would have drifted off in the air. Oh, this is going to be terrible. If my dogs can't sniff him out. I don't know where Rex could be at all. Um, I think we just need to go around the server and knock on doors and check shops and stuff to see if we can find Rex. Rex, are you in here? Nope, looks empty. Hmm, where could Rex be? Rex? Rex? Rex, are you in here? Hi. Have you seen my dog, Rex? Ha. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was a bit rude. <laughs> you just went home. I, I don't know where Rex could be. I searched the whole server. Um, this is, this is not very good news, guys. I can't find Rex, you know. I mean, one of the perks of being a Force Ghost is I can transcend into the realm of the afterlife and basically teleport everywhere and just find places. And in this realm, there's no such thing as time and space. 
it's there's no limitations and I think that's the only place I can go. I'm gonna have to go go to the realm of the afterlife and see if I can find clues to where Rex could be. So I think it's time to to drift off into the afterlife. Oh yeah, we don't need totems because totems keep us on this living on this living world. We need to we need to just drift off into space. Army hearties, I've decided to pirate this episode and hijack this this episode and I have taken control now. Um yeah, I'm a pirate and I can't speak like this for the whole episode, so I'm just gonna go to my normal voice. Right. Yeah, I'm a pirate now. Um Yeah, I'm a pirate. I am Captain Yegus of the Golden Doubloon. That is the name of my ship, and oh wow, look at this! I've I've turned on pirate language, and we've got all these. What sort of accent am I doing? Is this like a, a farmer? I don't know what I'm doing. How how do pirates speak? They're like a harmy hearties. Helmets or diamonds? I don't know why, but I'm saying this like I'm some cowboy. Help me, how do, how, how do I speak like a pirate? I have no idea how to speak like a pirate. Anyways, let's just put on our peg leg old diamonds and our greaves old diamonds. Chest play old diamond and a helmet old diamond. And we're gonna set sail and head over to the shopping district to pillage all the shops. Ah, we're not gonna pillage actually. We're going to be building our pirate ship. As I said, I'm Captain Yegus of the Golden Doubloon. We need to build our pirate ship somewhere. And it's going to be called the Golden Doubloon. And we need to get resources. So let's head over to this ender coffer and get it, get our shulker bucks. I... And get some dusky oak. Planks or dusky oak, okay. Um Honestly. Why did I start speaking American? Some sort of like farm farmer almost. I don't know what sort of accent I'm doing. I can't speak pirate. I <laughs> I can't speak pirate. I'm totally a pirate. I need to speak like a pirate to act like a pirate. And I need to have a ship. So, we're going to be making a ship, and you know why we're making a ship? Because we're a pirate, okay? Pirates have ships, and uh, we obviously need to have a ship. We need to hurry up building this pirate ship so that we can set sail out into the horizon and go pillage, go pillage some things. So I think the best way to do that is hop into a third person time lapse and we will build this pirate ship in super speedy time-lapse fashion. Okay, let's get to work.
Ahoy, me hearties. We are back, and I have done some work. We have set sail on the seven seas, and we have arrived at the port. So I've built this whole place, this giant port, in the Isoland Iso shopping district. And this is my ship, the Golden Doubloon. Now, if we, if we head over here onto the gangplank, we can see the ship and in all its glory. And this is what the port looks like. We've got this lovely pier. And over there, we're going to put some market stalls because we're going to be selling, selling stuff. So, this is the captain's wheel. We're going to set sail. And this is my captain's chambers. I need to put down a bed because I am quite tired. And if we head down below the decks into the, the ship's cargo hold, we've got lots and lots of gold. But we need to sell gold. This is the whole point of coming to the shopping district and building this port and building the market stalls. We're going to be selling stuff. And to do that, we need to go and pillage and plunder lots and lots of places. So I think it's time to set sail with my sailors and we're going to go pirating. Is that a word, pirating? When you go and pillage and plunder and steal everything. I think we need to get gold, okay? That's the first thing that we need to do. We need to stock up our new shop with gold. So, let's go on a quick little pirate mission. Yo ho, yo ho, we have arrived at the Goldtopia. I've heard there's lots of good loot and goodies to steal from here. We're gonna pillage everything. Right. Anything there to steal, we're gonna steal everything. Oh, we've got lots of chests. Let's steal everything, okay? Let's let's get all these peg legs. Oh, peg legs, that's that's cool. Oh, we don't need pooch and rations, we need these rocks. Super nice rocks. Okay, let's clear out my inventory. Clear out my loot bag of this unnecessary, unnecessary stuff. Okay, we're gonna put all our loot in here. We've got lots of rocks. Oh, lovely rocks. This is, this is super cool. This pillaging excursion has gone very, very well. Looks like the owner of this place is not here, but we've got... Ignore that. That's, that's just my my own personal items. We've got lots and lots of stuff. We've got tall man's treasure and magical books and lots and lots of grogs. This is gonna be so cool. We can have a party and drink up all the grogs back at the ship with the rest of the crew. We've got lots of bricks and cannonballs. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. When we go to war and when we fight, we've got ooh, powder and flaming cream. Ooh, and more rocks. And leather that's always useful and we got lots and lots of rubble and rocks as well and also we've got these doubloons of steel but we don't want steel we want gold okay we're gonna fly up to the top because we need gold okay we are looking for gold doubloons that is the real treasure here that is the real stuff that we're gonna be selling to get rich so I believe that up here we're gonna get lots and lots of gold Oh, look at all these golden doubloons. That is so many. We can craft them up into ingots. Oh, billions, I mean. Let me get the, the right terminology. Billion, billions of gold. Nice. Is that it? Is that it? We can, we can, we can get more gold. I wonder how this gold machine works. Is this like some magical gold machine? I wonder who owns this place. You know what? No one's here to stop me. Let's just fly up to the top. If I can find my my rockets. Right, we're gonna fly up to the top and get lots and lots of gold. And then we're gonna be super rich and then we can sell it at the golden doubloon. Batter down the hatches. It is storming outside. But before I batter down the hatches, I'm just gonna show you this gold pile. These are the prices. You get one diamond for a stack and you get a whole stack of gold which is super insane look at all these chests of gold anyway we're gonna head inside now because it's storming we're gonna batten batter down the hatches i can't say that 
Right. We've got some shelter down inside. So, we've got chests of of the, the, the stuff that we stole and pillaged and plundered from Goldtopia. And we're selling it now at our pirate shop. And the golden doubloon. So, yeah, we've got all the chests stocked. So this is the ship, and it's complete now with the sails. The sails are raised, so we don't have the ship blowing away in the wind. And we need to put a door. Okay, <laughs> we need to put a door. But otherwise, this ship is complete, and it's fully stocked. So this is pretty much it. This is the whole port done. But we do need to build the market stalls. Because we're going to be selling other stuff as well. We're going to... I think we've got space for three market stalls here. So we're going to have like this lovely, lively port area, uh, sort of harbour. And yeah, we need to build the market stall. So we're probably going to take one market stall to sell food. I think we've got stuff to sell. And then other people could rent out the other market stalls, which would be super, super cool. So I think we're going to work now on the first market stall. I am back, guys. and Something very bad has happened. It seems that when transcending through the different realms, it's glitched my my force ghost body. Look at it. It's just it's just white. Something something's gone wrong. I think I need more training from my Jedi Master. I need to actually get good at this force ghost stuff because look at me. I look terrible. There's some sort of some sort of mistake that I made. So I think I need to work on my force ghost skills so that I could project myself as a proper ghost and not this weird white thing. Um, and yeah, I, I went to the, the spirit realm to explore and try and find Rex and that place is great. There's no limits on space and time, but I just couldn't find Rex. Just couldn't find Rex and also this place has changed. This wasn't here when I left. Uh, there's a there's a ship, okay. There's a market. This is pretty cool. I like this place. I wonder who built this. We've got some market stalls here. Okay. Captain Yegus's market stall for non seafaring landlubbers. Ooh, it's pretty cool. I wonder I wonder who Captain Yegus is. Sounds like a pirate. I I bet that's a ship. So yeah, um. That's a pretty cool place, but I'm getting distracted. Where was I? Oh yeah, I was I was gonna look for Rex. Um, I failed at finding Rex. Looks like I'm failing at this Force Ghost stuff as well. I can't properly project myself as a Force Ghost. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to give up on the search for Rex. As of now, um, I'm gonna head over to the to the what's it called? To Goldtopia, yeah, because I did say back in the beginning. Of this episode that I was going to build a gold shop and if I can't find Rex well I assume he can't stop me I might as well just take the gold uh, after all I built this shop and I'm you know it's technically mine I mean well technically it's Rex's but come on I built this this place wait what it's completely empty what's going on here the bartering farm's completely empty I'm pretty sure it was full. Uh, let's check the, the, the gold farm. There's got to be some, some gold. Only 31. There was... Okay, we've got some gold nuggets, but there was way more. There was like a full chest's worth of golden nuggets. I mean, there's some left, but... Has someone been stealing my my gold supplies and the bartering farm supplies? Almost fell. Someone's been here. Someone's someone's pillaged. Oh, there's some there's some left, but there was stuff all the way up to the second level of chests. Someone's been here. Someone's been stealing, and I don't know who that is. Ah, oh, this there's just so much to do. I've got to. Find Rex. I've got to find whoever stole my stuff. And I've got to work on my Force Ghost projecting skills. Oh, great. This is. This is terrible, guys. Well, I guess I, I'm gonna have to 
embark on those on that journey then I guess so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to end the video here so yeah I'll see you in the next episode don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah I'll see you in the next one goodbye